This update is July 8th. Um, I have been away from home for a week. And in the meantime, we had a hurricane that went through. So this plant I took in, indoors uh, because I knew it, it would not have survived outside for a week without me. And luckily, I think it was a good decision. There are quite a few tomatoes that are fully ripe. So the plant is a little bit weak because it hasn't had enough sunlight. I'm going to take it outside. But otherwise, it seems to be doing quite well. I also have some seedlings for lettuces. So this is my for my fall garden. I'm going to transplant them as soon as it cools down a little bit. But they're still surviving and there is some mint that's taken root. It's also survived. So on that note, I'm going to transition outside and we're going to survey all the damage that has that has happened and I already have seen that some of the damage happened but not in detail. So let's go and explore. So I'm now outside looking, starting at my square here. Uh, there is definitely some serious damage to the tomato plant. You can see it was bent over by the winds, but it's somehow still surviving, still alive. So, even though all of the plants are damaged, they're all bent down somehow, they're still surviving. But the plant is definitely sick, it's not producing anything, there is not a single tomato on it. In the meantime, my basil is doing quite well. I actually trimmed it just before I left. Um, it was very big, but I needed to bring some basil to my sister, so I snipped quite a bit of it. There are some peppers here surviving. Also got laid back. Uh, we have some nice peppers formed here, but and I can see that some of the peppers have been picked from here. But it definitely has been damaged. Looks like my watermelon has run off. Ooh, I have a really nice watermelon here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's hiding. It's pretty much a jungle inside right now can't really see very well in. It's overgrown. The cabbage is still there. Oh, looks like my mulberry is still surviving. And peppers are trying to survive, although not quite well. They're definitely suffering between the heat and too much rain. It's not surprising. My pineapple is doing fantastic. Nice strong leaves. Lovely. Doing quite well. Looks like it had fallen too. But judging by the cracks on, on these leaves, it collapsed. Probably was knocked down by the wind. So, the perp Peppers have blooms on them, but no actual peppers, so for some reason it's not they're not forming. Looks like the watermelon really has taken over everything. It's climbing out of control. And there is the watermelon, small still. There are some cabbages. Really need to clean and thin it out so plants can get some some sunlight to them. Everything is overgrown. All right, transitioning here. That's another jungle. I have my beans. They are doing really well. They have had a lot of rain. Also, looks like my watermelon survived and trying to climb. Well, one of them is. I have a 
lot of tomatoes here that are definitely in the burst from too much rain. You can see the damages. There's a, a couple of nice watermelons. Here is one. Nice size. Unfortunately, it has decided to sprawl out, so it's not growing in, in length anymore. The other one inside is still growing. This is also an overgrown jungle now. There is a really large watermelon that I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually hiding inside. Heading down there. Let's see if I can, I can focus on my phone. Yeah, it's inside. All right. So, and there is another watermelon hanging down here. Uh, they definitely need all support. Um, I think this one is going to fall off. It's turning yellow. Yes, it's dying off. In the meantime, these tomatoes have gone out of control. They've had more than enough water and they just really shut up. Looks like I have blight on these watermelons that's set up, unfortunately. So this watermelon is not going to make it. That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to clean all of this up because otherwise the blight will spread. There is this watermelon here hanging. Two watermelons in there, but only one of them increased in size. The other one stopped, so it's not getting enough nutrients. This one is also not increasing in size. And these are also sick. There is blight on all of them. So one remains small, unfortunately. The other one is actually not a bad size. You can see through all of this. Oh well, I guess you want some, you lose some. There are two tomatoes here that have definitely been cracking from too much rain, but the plant itself seems very sick. Is the bell pepper it needs help. I need to tie it up. At the same time, I have my carrots that seem to be doing quite well. Now, this there are two two of these cantaloupes, and I have no idea how to tell when they're ripe because I've never seen this type. So I guess it's going to be an exploration. And more carrots here. There's another eggplant formed. Looks like blight have hit, has hit the cantaloupes as well. So a lot of damage here in the, on the inside. There is another cantaloupe here. Some peppers that are ripening on the inside. I can see them turning colors. If we can get to them somehow. Definitely need to clean all of this up and make sure that they have air. There is another large cantaloupe that had formed. This one is very large. 
nice. It has just began, began to set, so it's not going to get bigger than this, but it's quite nice size. So, here is another disaster zone. Some of my tomatoes have survived the hurricane, but some have not. There is definitely damage. You can see where the plant has bent down. The winds have really shifted down it, so it couldn't stay up on that wind. Which is okay, it's still alive, it still has tomatoes on it. There is another cantaloupe there. And the pepper is surviving, although I don't see much peppers on them. Here, this is more of a disaster area for beans and tomatoes. There are some tomatoes there, but I don't see any beans, so they might have not gotten knocked down. This side, I have a couple of tomato plants still surviving. I really need to tie them up while I can. There is a pepper plant surviving. There is another watermelon uh, plant. I don't see the actual watermelon on it. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's a jungle. Definitely. Oh, there is a little watermelon here. You can see it. That formed. So, not at all those. My cucumbers have decided to run away. You can see they ran out of their space. This is where they don't normally would, would go, but because I wasn't here to provide trellis, the, some of the suckers decided to run off. And you can see a really large cucumber here. So, and a lot more suckers. So. I'm still gonna get some more cucumbers out of this plant. It's definitely in full production mode. Some of my potatoes survived the wind. They're definitely bent out of the shape, but still alive. My cabbages, my squash is blooming here. There's a lot of powdery mildew. So some some remedial work here is necessary. And this tomato plant really did not like the wind. So I need to need to provide it with a better structure to support it. On this side I have more squashes and again more powdery mildew. Which is not surprising while I was gone. Don't see the actual squashes. For some reason, it doesn't seem to, it forms them, but they never live long enough. Okay, and looks like the, the bean are pretty much done, they're dying. There's definitely a lot of damage to the tomato plants. This is broken. You can see, it was tied up, but it couldn't make it. So, definitely damage. It's unfortunate. These tomato plants were nice and big and had lots of tomatoes on them. Some of the tomatoes are ripening still. My neighbor has actually been picking tomatoes. So I have a nice cluster of yellow tomatoes here. It's the most productive plant out of all of these in this box. Definitely lots of damage. Well, I guess when you have a hurricane, that's what it is, but that's okay. We'll bounce back. And there is a new batch of beans growing, so hopefully we'll have more beans. Now going here. So I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like all of the, oh, it got flooded completely. Oh, I don't understand. Unbelievable. 
the drainage must have got clogged because everything is flooded. Oh, that's a shame. So every, everything is flooded here, I guess. That's another one that got hit. So this structure was collapsing several times and there's definitely damage to it. You can see damaged leaves, damaged cucumbers. Everything is really, really sick. But there is a new batch of cucumbers still alive, still growing. So hopefully I can save some of it and get a new set of cucumbers. There is another large cucumber growing here. A few tomatoes left. This whole structure had overturned while I was away. Everything is really, really sick. Which is not surprising. So I guess this is what happens when yeah, you're not away, you're not here to take care of it. Have beans that nobody was taking care of. Don't, don't see actual beans, just lots of blooms, even though they had blooms when I left. So there's some beans for me. Now it looks like my orange tree set up lots of new growths. While everyone was suffering, the orange tree loved the drain, so it set a lot of new growths. Look at that. Lovely. Hopefully all the rains have washed off all of these sp spider mites and it's growing. It's doing quite well. It was just surviving before. So let's hope for a revival. And here, transitioning on this side, still have a few flowers surprisingly. I thought they would be completely leveled by their hurricane, but it's still upright. These are the malvas, the hollyhocks. My cucumber plant is not doing too great, but there are, there are some cucumbers on it. Oh my goodness, oh, this is what I was afraid of. When nobody's here to pick, they grow to this huge size. Oh my heavens, all right. Yeah, way, way overgrown, way too big. So I've got a lot of work to do and a lot of fixing to do. But at least most of my garden has survived. In the meantime, the bay is peaceful. There are a few remnants of my flowers that have not been killed off yet. Some mint. And a few flowers here. And we're overlooking the Chesapeake Bay. It is peaceful for the moment. All the storms have calmed down. Hopefully we'll have a, a break for a while. The water is really, really muddy and dirty. It's not surprising though, with all the winds. So on this beautiful note, thank you for joining me. Until next time.